welcome to my kitchen. This is Cooking Today. Hi, welcome to Cooking Today. Glad you're here. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Don't we love that season? Just to, to be so thankful. We have been given so much, haven't we? Well, let me tell you, after we feasted, look, I have on my stretchy clothes, my, my shirt that doesn't fit and my pants that have the elastic. Are y'all laying around in that too? I always have tons of leftovers after Thanksgiving. Leftover turkey, leftover like two or three carrots, a couple of stalks of celery, you know, just kind of leftover produce and things like that. Always have a little bit of leftover heavy cream. Who am I kidding? I always have heavy cream. That's not leftover. It's a way of life around here. Always have just a little bit of produce and things just kind of around. Always have a little extra chicken stock in the refrigerator after the holiday season. And I sure hate to throw it out, but then at the same time, after Thanksgiving, a lot of times I get really tired of cooking. You're just kind of spent, you know? You've made everything you know how to make and cleaned every dish in your house twice. I mean, it feels like that, every bowl. So, a couple of years ago, I came up with this really great recipe for how to kind of use up what was left of my, you know, Thanksgiving produce and my leftover turkey because I really don't want to just eat it again like it what you know like it is because we've already nibbled on it for a couple of days so I wanted to do something a little different so what I came up with was this idea to make a leftover Thanksgiving turkey cobbler with good biscuits on the top not homemade biscuits because I've done all the homemade cooking I can stand you know over the last couple of days freezer biscuits so this has got a little tiny bit of elbow grease. It's one pot. We're going to put it in our brazier so it's really easy. There's not a ton of cleanup and casserole dishes and all of that. And we're just going to use up all of our ingredients, freezer biscuits, some great little shortcuts to just kind of use it all up. It's a really good little hearty, easy post-Thanksgiving meal. Okay. So what we're going to do is get some butter in the bottom of our brazier. Now y'all know, and I say it all the time, but I really mean it and I've proven it. This brazier is the hardest working piece in my kitchen. It is worth asking for for Christmas. I'm just telling you. What's so great about this brazier is we're going to saute all the vegetables in here, make our filling. It's going to cook down and get nice and thick and yummy and good. And then the whole brazier is going to go right down into the oven. So I don't have a brazier or a saucepan on the stove and a casserole dish. Like we don't even have to dump the filling over into a dish. We can just use it in our brazier. See how great that is? It kind of turns everything into kind of a one pot wonder, really. So that's what we've got going right there. So I've got a couple of tablespoons of butter. You're going to need a little bit of butter, but you know, it's Thanksgiving, so you probably, if you're like me, have some sticks left over. So I have a couple of tablespoons of butter in the bottom of my brazier on like medium, medium plus heat or so. I had, I think I did three stalks of celery. If you have four, use four. That is what is so nice and freeing about this recipe and it's also nice because you really can use whatever and you know clean out your crisper drawer or your refrigerator. So I had three or four stalks of celery that I trimmed the ends off of and then I ran my knife down the middle. You know the it, celery looks like this like a cup. So right down there in the middle I went down through the center so I could cut it in half and then I went ahead and just chopped it. Then I had, I think I had four carrots left. So I've done four carrots and I just sliced them kind of nice and thinly. You know, carrots take a while to cook, so you don't want them to be so thick that they won't saute and get tender. And then I have this onion. I always have onions and garlic. I mean, it's just how we roll around here. But 
I'm going to go ahead and chop an onion, okay? So I've done my chopping. And y'all really, right there is the most of the work of, of all of it, really. And that's not that bad, especially when you, you know, cook. You kind of get used to doing some of this chopping. It's not a big deal at all. Okay, so I'm scooping it all into my little bowl here. I think I can hear my, my butter is doing its thing. Yeah, we're good. So I'm going to dump my chopped, cleaned out crisper drawer of celery, onions, and carrots in my brazier. And we're gonna let this saute down. We want these to get pretty tender. So I'm gonna just give those a stir, let them get tender. And then when we come back, we're gonna start working on our filling and using up our turkey and some frozen peas. It's a great way to use up our Thanksgiving leftovers. This is Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by West Rock Coffee Company. Hi, welcome back to Cooking Today. We're making a clean out your pantry, clean out your leftover turkey, clean out your crisper drawer cobbler. That's not really what it's called. We're calling it turkey cobbler with rosemary biscuits. And the goal here is to take all the things that are kind of left over after your Thanksgiving holiday and let's put it in a good yummy sauce with your leftover turkey. We're going to drop some buttery yummy rosemary biscuits on the top and bake it down. It is good stuff y'all. Great flavors and it's just kind of a a nice fresh way to kind of eat up what's left after you just had, you know, you've pulled out leftovers for a couple of days where you eat the turkey again and the cranberries and the mashed potatoes and you've done it a million times now. So we're going to just kind of do a neat little casserole. So what I have, leftover carrots and celery, a couple stalks of each, some onions that I've sauteed in some butter. I am going to add another little bit of butter to my skillet, my big brazier. I had some frozen peas left over from a cold layered salad that we make. So I decided I would just go ahead and add those in as well. Because again, kind of thinking through, kind of cleaning things out. You can add in, gosh, I don't know, corn, butter beans. I mean, really whatever you want, you can, you know, put in here. I don't know if you would add mushrooms or not, but you could, if you, you know, had leftover mushrooms after you made your mushroom dressing. So I added my frozen peas in with a little more butter, and I'm going to let that kind of saute down. And because we're kind of on the Thanksgiving flavor train, and I had some, you know, sage left, I sure don't want sage to go to waste because it's delicious. And, you know, it's kind of pricey. You just hate to, you know, lose your herbs. So I'm going to pluck a couple of leaves off of my sage and give that just a little fine chop. And we'll stick that in there and let that saute in that butter too. I sure love sage. I love when the fall rolls around. It's one of my absolute favorite herbs to cook with in the season. All right, I'm going to throw that in. Then I have right here beside me two or three cups of leftover turkey that we had over the holiday season. And I went ahead and just kind of pulled it apart into just some, you know, little shreds and chunks. I didn't get any turkey that had any skin on it. I just wanted, you know, just the, the kind of like the good white breast meat. And then, you know, here it is. We've had it, you know, for days, but it's awful good this way. So I've got that. Then, waiting in the wings over here, I'll go ahead and pull it out for you. <clears throat> I have some chicken stock. And what we're going to do is we're sauteing down our vegetables. Oh, we need to turn our oven on. 375. Oh, I started it. I started it. Old age. I, okay, so what we're doing, sauteing down our veggies, giving them a little butter, you know, on there to kind of create a little bit of a liquid you know, good fatty liquid on there. I have thrown a few pinches of salt in here on these veggies. And then, in order to get a good, nice, thick, kind of creamy base, you know, liquid in our pot pie cobbler that we're making, we're going to shake 
a little flour on our vegetables now that they have gotten kind of tender, okay? And what that does is it acts as like a thickening agent when we put our chicken stock on there. Otherwise, it would just be, you know, soupy, and we don't want it to be soupy. We want it to be good and creamy and thick and yummy. Okay, so what you want to do here, this is kind of, y'all, it's, it's almost like the way that we made our pot pie. And I know y'all are making that um, because y'all are messaging me. It's awful good. Y'all need to pull that one out if you haven't already made it. But we're kind of doing the same thing. We're sauteing our vegetables. We're giving it a little flour over it so that this is going to serve as our thickener. So you want to kind of cook and stir the flour till it kind of comes out. You know, the flavor of the flour kind of cooks out. I think I just threw vegetables. Yeah, just a little. Okay. And now what we want to do is pour on three cups of chicken stock. And if you have vegetable stock left over, use vegetable stock. If you don't have quite this much, you could probably short it just a little, just a little tiny bit, you know, if you only have two cups left after your holiday. Do two cups plus a little bit of milk or water. Again, we're just kind of using up what we've got. So I'm going to turn my heat back up. I'm going to give this a little stir. And then I'm going to throw in a pinch or so of salt, a little pepper while we're going. Our oven is preheated. And I want to bring this to a boil. And by bringing it to the boil, it's going to thicken that heat and that flour with that chicken stock. It's going to thicken and get really, really good. Then we've got our good base, our you know, good liquid. We're gonna taste it when we come back. We're gonna add a little cream, stir in our turkey, and I'm gonna show you how easy this is to bake in the oven. This is cooking today. Ice Tea, sponsored by Lipton. Hi, welcome back to Cooking Today. We are making turkey cobbler with rosemary buttered biscuits. Doesn't that sound so good? Our goal today is to use up the leftover ingredients and things and herbs and turkey from your holiday weekend. So let me tell you, here's what we've got going on, okay? We have, well, I'm not going to talk about those yet. We're going to back up the bus. We sauteed some leftover celery and onion and carrots and some frozen peas that we had left over. We've gotten those nice and tender. We shook some flour on them and added some chicken stock and some good, a good dose of salt and pepper and let that get nice and thick. And so look how it's gotten nice and thick and gravy-like and created this delicious kind of a roux base, delicious, okay? We have some leftover turkey that we're gonna put in our base over here. And we also have some heavy cream that we're gonna pour in because we had some left and because we love heavy cream. We just do. So before I talk about our biscuits, what we wanna do is get our butter for our biscuits on the stove. And all I've done to my, you know, my filling over here is just turn the heat all the way to low. It's nice and hot. We're going to stick it back in the oven. You don't want to let it get too cold or cooled off because we're only really going to stick it back in the oven for like 10 or 15 minutes, not too long. And so you don't want to let it get cold. Um, you know, we want to kind of have some of the heat still on it. Okay, I had a little bit of rosemary. No real rhyme or reason on this, y'all. And I'm just going to give it a little rough chop. I had about a half a stick of butter. And we're going to put this on the stove and let it melt down and let this rosemary kind of infuse the flavor of our butter so we can brush it on our biscuits on our top of our cobbler. Doesn't that sound so good? Okay. Here, that's, that looks pretty good to me. So we've done a little rough chop on our rosemary. I'm just going to throw it in. 
and then let this get going. Then we're going to talk about how we did our biscuits real quick. Now, the other thing I really like to do in this butter, this is fun. I like to do one little um, clove of garlic if you've got it. And I just do it a little, give it a little mash. I don't chop it. I don't spend any time on it. I don't really want the um, pieces of the garlic in my rosemary butter. I just kind of want the flavor of it. So watch all I'm going to do is give it a good hard mash and it kind of breaks open and it comes out of the paper and then that's it. We're just going to drop it in. Okay? So we're flavoring our butter. I'll turn that on and be kind of watching that. That needs to get going. Okay. Let me clean my spot here and I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. So here is our filling, okay? It's all nice and thick and looks delicious. You want to taste your filling. Like get your little tasting spoon, you know, from Unimaze, of course. My little long-handled wooden ones that are just so great. And taste the filling. I did it in the break to be sure there's good salt and pepper and sage. You know, we added sage to our filling. So you want to be sure that you can taste it. So get in there and make sure that you're good. Right now, I'm going to add in some heavy cream. All the angels are singing at the moment. They love, I think angels love heavy cream. Jesus loves heavy cream. I mean, he made it, right? Okay, heavy cream. Giving this a stir. And then I've got my several cups of just leftover turkey that I pulled into some nice little bits. Okay. Give this a stir. Mmm, I saw one of those good peppery bites from the outside of our turkey. Delicious. Okay, so I'm going to give this a stir. What I want to tell you about are the biscuits. This is very, very important. These are frozen biscuits that come in the bag that these, these are not, and you cannot substitute this way, y'all. You cannot substitute with refrigerated canned biscuits. My brother-in-law calls them whop biscuits because you whop them on the um, counter to get them open. So in our family, because of Michael Hannon and Conway, we always call those whop biscuits. Whop biscuits don't work on this. You've got to have freezer biscuits. So what I did was while I was making this filling and letting it thicken, I put my freezer biscuits in the oven at 375 and I let them bake for like 10 to 12, 15 minutes or so. I probably could have let them go just a tiny bit longer, but it's fine. Um, we aren't baking them all the way through. Oh, that looks delicious, y'all. Mm. Okay. We aren't baking them all the way through. That's not the goal. What we are doing is I've got them on my metal sheet pan here. We're trying to create like that little crispy on the bottom. And now all we're going to do is take these off and line the entire top of our pan in biscuits and then brush them with rosemary butter. All there is to it, we're going to stick it back in the oven for, I don't know, 15 minutes or so and call it a day. Easy as that. So many little quick shortcuts and we've cleaned out our pantry and our fridge. I can't wait for you to see this when we come back. This is Cooking Today. Rice, sponsored by Mars. Hi, welcome back to Cooking Today. We are wrapping up turkey cobbler with rosemary buttered biscuits. Doesn't that sound so good? What we've done is cleaned out our crisper drawer, our veggies, our freezer, our leftover rosemary and sage from the holiday season, and that last little bit of turkey that you never quite knew what to do with. Well, I showed you today that you can make this beautiful turkey cobbler and just top them with these freezer biscuits, easy as it can be. So, we par-baked those, ooh, I gotta get both hands in here. We par-baked those frozen biscuits so that we got a little bit of a good base on the bottom so that they wouldn't just get super soggy once we put them down in our topping. 
or in our, in our filling, then we just lined the whole top of my brazier with a dozen biscuits. It fits perfectly, which I just absolutely love. And brushed them with that good rosemary butter that we just infused that all in with that mashed garlic, brushed the tops, and stuck them back in our oven for 15 minutes or so till the biscuits have gotten this beautiful light golden brown and our filling has gotten even thicker and more delicious. This is good. This is the perfect way to use your Thanksgiving leftovers. You are gonna love this. I hope you will try it at home and I hope you had a good holiday. This is Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by West Rock Coffee Company. Kitchenware is provided by Una Mays. Iced Tea, sponsored by Lipton. Rice, sponsored by Mars.